Oh dear lord, oh, I don't even know where to begin. I haven't done this for a long time. This sucks, I'm so small. Hold on, give me a second. I think it's better now. A little bit, yeah. It's 9 a.m. in the morning and um, welcome to my first season. <laughs> season welcome to my first season of my vlog um it's been a long time since i've done a vlog on the last time that i was recording i think that was like back in december if i'm not mistaken yeah um how are you guys and i hope everyone is still watching my vlog because if nobody does then you know it's fine <laughs> it's better even for today's vlog i am going to explain to you what is my plan i have a one month plan for it's like a series kind of thing but all about myself of course this is my channel darling i'm also doing half of the video today because today is my day off i hope you guys are having a lovely day today or else you know you just have to be like adele divorce babe divorce divorce babe divorce we are going to talk about my flaws what i think is a flaw for me because everyone i don't know if if you're a person who have no like no insecurities at all then um bow down to you but i do have and that would be my eyebrows and my nose and usually it was my lips so let me just give you back to memory lane i started hating my eyebrows when i was younger because i don't have eyebrows i have a sparse mona lisa eyebrows um i hope i can find a photo of me but i don't think i am but if i am i would put it in the video then it was very hard for me because i've seen most of my friends or is this fly um classmates that they have eyebrows thick bushy eyebrows and it was like it was very easy for them to have those one draw line eyebrow and it was hard for me um i was i think i i, I stapled myself as the as mona lisa but difference is i was not as beautiful as mona lisa was second was my lips okay i never i never was bothered by my nose by the way for a very long time until lately my lips um during those 2000 years where small lips were a thing or small lips were the one who's like hot or sexy whatever and the big lips usually were like the brats or you know the brats dolls and uh, like big lips big mouth something like that but i never never hated it actually i liked it secretly until brats became a thing until that you know kylie jenner started to have her lip injection and then everyone started to have like this duck lips and then i started to realize that well i think i should be grateful which is i am until now then the eyelids i forgot to mention the eyelids this eyelids okay as you can see i still have at least an eyelid like eyelids sorry but i never had those eyelids and I could, I think I could share to you some photos of it where I don't have an eyelids and I didn't had any operation, but I had to do an extensive research on YouTube back then, which is, I was so weird to do that. But there's one lady, I think it's Michelle Fan, and Michelle Fan was ruling the beauty world during, like the beauty YouTube world during that time. And she was explaining how to, to have an eyelid or somehow. I hope that I was right. I hope that, that my memory is very golden. But I just imagine this eyes without eyelids and my eyes is like this. Like my eyes are like this, exactly, exactly like this. And then she thought a method to put like a toothpick or something or to do this with your eyes and do that. So every time I do that, nobody knows that I'm, I did that. That was my secret. I never wanted to share it to anyone, but you know, sadly, nobody even asked or questioned how did I do that because nobody noticed me. <laughs> That's a sad reality. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand.
anyway so i had those and i was like okay check that's like good to go like i don't have anything to worry about as you can see on the camera my nose is not actually photogenic if you can see in the camera it's quite wide and big and large for me some people they say that my nose is small is thin it's like perfect and just because of this bone that i have here but it, it doesn't like on cameras i have to do it like this or this or or i remember the time when i was younger i actually even did this you know those time where you have to like do this you see the difference and then i have to do like this just to make my nose small because that's how insecure i am on my nose and yes um uh, mentioning the nose i if I had the opportunity and the money <laughs> to spend for a nose job, I would do it. But um, I'm not considering a surgical nose job. I think the modern science already had a discovery about a non-surgical nose job, which is not permanent. Your perfect nose will just vanish and after two years or three years. But yeah, I was I am considering doing that now because it was it's a trend, but just because I don't know. I just just don't feel like I'm 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 content. Yes, probably. And at the same time it's my body, my choice. But I'm still thinking about it. I'm still um I'm still gathering people that would say my nose is small enough so that I don't have this insecurity. It's like I need people's validation. No. That that was wrong to say. I need people to inform me or to tell me that I'm blind for not seeing that my nose is actually fine. So at the moment, I still have maybe, you know, I still count those people by my fingers and it's not enough. But yes. What else? Um, oh, by the way, my eyebrows are microblade. Um, it will only last for two years and it's been two years exactly at this month and it's still there it is a little bit faded but let me show you um because i'm i wear an eyebrow powder so this is my yeah this is my real microbladed eyebrow if you can see the difference so it's still there so i'm not planning to um do it again maybe when it's a little bit um faded you know and um after the after this video i'll be going outside to do my exercise i'm gonna be doing an exercise for one month and not an extensive exercise but i just wanted to have like a semi good looking body because unfortunately everybody um people people that i've known or my friends and my family says that i started to gain weight and become fat since i move in a different country and i would show you that you should be proud because i will show you a clip where i was really fat and i didn't know that i was fat and i keep on denying myself that i was fat but yes that's the word fat unfortunately I will show you my body at the moment. This is my stomach. Excuse my belly button. I've gone to the side. This is not breathe in, breathe out. See? Look at that. Look at that fat. Most of the people that I knew think that I'm still fat. And I think I am still. Insert flubby arms. <laughs> Um, I'm not aiming to be thin. I, I like myself being thick and, you know, curvy. I don't like to be thin and slim. Not because there's a problem. I have a problem with that. No. I like to have a curve in my body. For a month and a half now, I started to eat less. Not a diet. Eat less. Like eating rice less. And because rice is life, baby. I'm Asian. You have to deal with that. I try not to eat three times a day. The usual normal thing that I was. Because I realized that I'm old enough to even eat three times a day. So I try to be as clean as possible. I change my ordinary cooking oil into an olive oil for 
probably three months now or four months and that was the best decision of my life and it's also the the snacking where i buy milk tea all the time or i buy milk tea every week or somehow like that um i forgot to mention though um if you're very confused about my accent i just have to explain to it i'm trying to build up an accent because of some reasons and you would know what would be the reason after about two months i guess so yes um <laughs> i can't switch from like normal english or filipino english to british or american or australian sometimes they even sound australian i don't know why but um thank you for watching and um i hope that you will have a good day and um forgot to mention though that part of my insecurities and flaws i think is my body um i'm really small <laughs> i'm very small i think i'm five flat or four nine even and um i have a very fat juicy thick size that i swear to god i will never replace <laughs> i work hard for that so yes this video is something that i hope would somehow lead into a good way like seriously i started 2022 with 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 like a good intention and um i try to be as positive less negative as could be yes so that's it for today's vlog and i hope that you guys enjoy it and i don't know if this microphone is working but i hope it's working that's it see you on my next season episode on my next episode which is about pain those real dish stuff trying to live and trying to understand that it's already 2022 and there's no reason for other people to be so insecure and negative <laughs> that's all for today thank you for watching it's me chimimot bye bye